All right, so there we go. Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and this is BXJS live stream. Hey, Manda Potra, welcome to the stream. So, um, I, <laughs> I basically ran out of ideas. So I was like, hey, why don't I revive that um, super old idea I had? I don't know, three, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. I honestly don't remember when I first came up with this, but the gist of it is, um, you know how if you play video games or watch movies or whatever. I, mean, I guess my video games is sort of the closest thing to it. Uh, when you go to any video game, right, and you look for the related things, most of the time, majority of them are only somewhat related. Like, yes, you know, the stuff that is kind of similar, but not really. And this is mostly down to the fact that uh, traditionally all of those games are usually described by a bunch of tags that are, you know, as we know, not a really good base for finding similar products or recommending anything or even searching for things, right? They, they kind of work, but they don't really describe the whole depth of the product, the, you know, all the features that it offers and so on and so forth, right? On the other hand, if you look into the reviews, at least the good ones, like the detailed ones, you typically can find quite a bit of information written by people that is quite insightful, right? So there's things mentioned, there's features mentioned, there's mechanics mentioned, similar games mentioned, and so on and so forth. Uh, same goes for critics. So like if we take, I don't know, open critic, and again, I'm giving an example using video games, but it doesn't really, restricts to them you can uh, at least in my head it should probably work for any other type of media be it movies tv series or whatever right uh so if you if you take the video games and you take the critics review they also typically have quite a bit of details about what the game is you know what the genres are what is the sort of the core of the game what are the downsides and so on and so forth so my idea is, yes, you guessed correctly. My idea is to create a data set uh, from reviews, both user reviews and critic reviews, right? And then process it to try and sort of build a knowledge graph uh, for each video game. I'm, again, I'm not 100% sure we need a knowledge graph because if we just want to do sort of find me the similar games based on the descriptions, we could use embeddings basically. This is like the stupidest and simplest way. And I'm guessing if we just throw that into embeddings and then use something like a cosine similarity, that will be probably sufficiently good and probably even better than what we already have, but we're gonna try. So basically, yes, the idea is that number one, we need a data set of the reviews. And number two, we need to, I, like again, uh, I guess we'll start with embeddings and cosine similarity just to see how good or bad that's going to be. And then we are going to, uh, I mean, I'm get, <laughs> I guess by the time we get there, it's going to be quite a few episodes. Uh, and then we're going to, yeah, if, if things go uh, well or not well, depending on, on uh, what, what happens next, we basically can try to take the reviews and throw them into uh, our, um, uh, named Entity Recognition and Knowledge Graph Extraction APIs. So if we take, uh, just to show you the basically how it looks, if we take a review, I don't know, from Destructoid or something, I'm just gonna use the um, this view and just take this. So we're gonna take, like, yeah, this synopsis, right? So that should be uh, sufficient. So if we convert that to Knowledge Graph, I sure as hell hope our backend is not dead. No, it's good, okay. So you can see that you can actually get a knowledge graph that uh, says that, you know, hey, there's a uh, France, for example, mentioned, right? And we get the France that is a link. I'm guessing this is a big city or something among lies. There's an ages, which is a person, right? And so on and so forth. So you can actually, uh, we can, in theory, we can augment our basic uh, embedding matching. So embedding vectors, we can build additional um, how would I say it? Supplementary vectors, basically using these knowledge graphs, right? Or and maybe even just entities themselves to help uh, do better similarity score, to help achieve, I guess, better similarity score, maybe even tra train a model. So we're gonna see that. 
Um, and also like this model, the model we have by default is quite generic. So as you can see here, majority of things it detects are also quite generic, right? So if we do analysis, you'll see that there's like a yeah, Paris Renaissance, City of Lights, Gates of Hell, uh, Rodin, yeah, whatever. So like majority of those things are, well, okay, that's admittedly, there's not much here about the game itself in this paragraph. So maybe we should try and take, um, I just don't want to throw in the whole thing basically because there's way, <laughs> way too much. And uh, I mean, we're not really interested. In yeah, there you go. Steel Rising looks marvelous. Yeah, there you go. There's a, quite a few mention of things here including so we got okay we got spiders uh well it says it's a film which is not quite correct we got the gridfall which is okay misc so it didn't detect the class which is fine um but yeah okay but anyway we're gonna see how that goes afterwards right so i, I don't know i'm not even sure if we will need to augment the whole thing with knowledge graphs but basically the plan for today is to build um scraper that would scrape one reviews from open critic so we want to you know you just give a game say still rising that is coming tomorrow or something uh, and then it basically goes through all the critic reviews there is the critic reviews right so we want this page right slash reviews right we go through all of those pages and get the full text from all of them i guess we first get full html because uh yeah full text extraction is something we will do probably with python's package we used last time because it was pretty good and I, I don't think javascript has any good ones but we're going to check that as well so maybe we'll just stick with that and then the second thing is we're going to do the same for uh steam right so we're going to grab the reviews um there is i'm pretty sure there was a button somewhere see all reviews ah, right it's over here yeah right so we got app and then app id review and then we got some filter i'm guessing they're fetched via xhr so we can actually try to just do the xhr requests i'm curious if steam would allow us to just you know request i don't know all of them at the same time <laughs> i mean it said like there's thirty-three thousand of them or something so that's quite a bit I, I think we should pick a smaller game maybe that has i don't know a few hundred reviews so that we don't kill or i guess don't get banned in this case right i, I don't think we're going to kill steam that's not really possible with just one person knowing how much load they get but um there was a new game that recently came out that is relatively popular that has a good number of reviews gloomwood is what i'm talking about right so that should have like a few hundred reviews probably or something and we are at okay thousand reviews that seems about right okay cool so this is basically what we want right and uh, I don't wonder if there's Gloomwood. No, there's no. Okay, I guess. No, wait. Really? There's no Gloomwood? Um, right, I guess critics decided not to review that. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, I mean, it is early access, so I guess it's not as critical. So let's just get cracking, I guess, right? Gonna find, I created a repository already. Uh, I'm going to use my personal account for that because, yeah, I don't like I think I sort of want to come back to that at one point. So we're going to npm init minus y. We're going to, yeah, so it's going to be MIT license. That is perfectly fine. I'm going to create, let's call it. So, okay, so we're going to have um, pre-processing, right? Pre-processing and we're going to have fetch. Uh, let's start with Steam, right? Steam reviews JS. So we got to get that part. Now the question is, um, what is actually, how do we fetch those reviews, right? So I mean, let me open the dev tools and check how Steam loads the reviews themselves. My guess would be um, JSON because this is like, this is what they do majority of time. Okay, well, not initially. So I guess they hydrate or populate it somehow and then hydrates, right? And there we go. There's our... Steam community app, home content. This looks like, uh, no, that is. Uh, okay, so the reviews they get are actually HTML. So we will have to parse them anyway, which is, a, uh, is that reviews as well? Vote up, okay, those are just IDs. Interesting, what the hell is this? User review, Ajax, get votes. Okay, so there is some API that does XHR requests that returns json but it is um a bit weird okay so i guess we will have to 
use the uh, well, no, 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 no. The, we will have to use this. So this seems to be like the actual review content, right? So there's this, uh, I physically cried out in anguish. Yeah, so this is, this is the review, but it's already rendered, which means we would have to throw it into something like Cheerio or whatever, and then parse it uh, to get the, uh, the data. So let's grab the URL. Let's just say URL is um, that, uh, no, 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 it's in quotes. Okay, uh, let me collapse that and let me do word wrapping so that we can actually see what's going on here. Okay, so we got, let's call it export const get steam reviews, right? And then we're gonna have app ID over here. Just gonna make it only one parameter, okay? So app ID and then app ID goes over here. Okay, so there is something. Let me just how do I properly do that? Okay, so we got the base URL over here. Whoops, nope, that's too much. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, God, what did, what did it do with the formatting? No, 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 no. Okay. So let's see. Um, right, I guess I think you can use the URL constructor to do complex stuff like this, if I remember correctly, right? So you can use what is going on with my new URL. Yes, that is what I want. Why is it? What is going on here? Dear Edge, why are you? What is happening? Um, okay, Edge decided that the DevTools will be broken today, which is fine. We can MDN URL is what I want. And I think there is, you can basically give the query parameters as a, as an object, if I remember correctly. URL now, okay. Um, URL, okay, JS URL from a query param object. I remember there was a way of doing that. I do not remember um, how exactly that works. Ah, yes, there you go. New URL search params to string. So, and that returns. Okay, cool. So this is what we want. All right, cool. Um, so const, let's call this base URL, right? And then we got params. And then URL is going to be our base URL and then question mark. And this is going to be params. And then we can kill that from here. All right. Um, so which means that params object is going to be this and then in params object we're going to have all of that stuff and now we're going to try to figure out what do we actually need from all of that okay so there is um something called user okay let me think how do i okay first of all you know what i can do i can actually just uh Take this and use an enter key to just split it by lines, right? That's good enough. Okay, and we can take an equals over here and say that this is colon and then the values there are strings and I think that actually does it. Okay, uh, so we got this user review cursor, wherever that comes from, and then we got review offset. I wonder what does this cursor thing does? Okay, let's see. So let's scroll a few times and see what we actually get in requests. Um, hello, I'm sorry, where's, where's my more? Why is there no more requests? Um, okay, did, did, did my edge just decided to die and no longer produce anything in console? What is going on now? Network. There we go. Uh, so if I scroll, there we go, there's our thing. And then do we have, is the cursor always the same? Is this like XHR protection or something? Payload, there we go. Uh, payload, yes. So this seems to be, no, it is different. It seems like you need both cursor and offset because the rest doesn't seem to be changed. No, it does change. Workshop items page. What is this format like? <laughs> Oh boy, the, the amount of legacy systems in Steam is just mind boggling sometimes. Like, look, I wonder if you even need to send all of those things there to actually get a response. 
like okay you know what let's let's just give it a shot right so we can we can just be like okay so we can fetch url const results await fetch that yeah, with await okay uh there's got to be a synchronous here okay so we wait and then do our our json right so we get it no wait that's not json it should be text is what it is because it's not json and then we return results so let's just uh, keep it very basic so what if uh, i remove both of those and then right so this p thing is literally the page hey wise welcome to the stream yeah i mean it's it's going all right can't really complain you know so all good i guess page one okay let's do that or i guess let's make it as is it a string here or not i mean technically all of that is a string right so because it is yeah okay it doesn't really matter all right let's go with that so um da -da 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 -da. there's gonna be page and then number page that is i guess number of reviews per page and then filter is okay browse filter why is there two of them <laughs> Oh, steam oh boy okay sometimes looking at all those things okay we want most recent i guess right okay so that reloads everything right well, i mean it's fine it's okay and then if we scroll there's our thing so let's look at the payload again most recent is the filter we want okay we do not need that many filters that's all good okay we want english language up hub section whatever the hell that means filter language default search max inappropriate score i wonder what that does uh i'm very curious as to what this does what is inappropriate score and how does one see that man i would really love to look at the back end of the steam at one point because some of the things they have is just really weird at least the ones that you see from the user perspective okay so we do our get steam reviews app id and then yeah page we can just leave as is console log res and then app id we had here is this one i wonder if that will work let's find out um so pre-processing fetch steam reviews unexpected token oh right i of course I am doing the, uh, I forgot to, I mean, I guess I can just go with MJ, uh, no, not delete, oh God, okay, that was risky click, MJS. Uh, hey, Kevin, welcome to the stream. All right, so this is gonna be MJS and uh, let's see if that actually works. Uh, that does indeed seem to be working okay. Uh, my question, okay, so first of all, let's parse this, I guess NPM install Cheerio is what we wanna do. And then we're gonna go for Cheerio documentation and uh, Cheerio JS. Yes, thank you very much. So that is what we want. Hey, Lenit, welcome to the stream. Uh, there's more hair on the beard. That yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's that's a fair fair statement. And there is indeed, uh, for some reason, the beard tends to grow faster than than my head hair. So you know, can't really do much about that. Okay. So let's see. So we got Cheerio loads um, result is what we want to do. Why is it striked out? Cheerio is deprecated. Oh, is it like now exporting load function? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Perfect. So you can now do that, right? And then, so what actually is here? Uh, vote header, app hub, card content main, div data class okay so we want up hop card right const reviews okay so this is reviews and then um <laughs> i guess we can just map over them review item okay so then we need to say okay what do we actually have in a review let me just copy this thing up cup content blah 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 there's literally a script tag in here okay yeah oh boy steam oh boy all right uh let me just copy the one that's somewhere in the middle and that actually has a clear end okay so if we paste it here we say html is it html it is html okay format this stuff all right let's see how it looks 
Right, so we got this up card, right? Yes, that's good. And then we have, uh, so I don't really care about helpful ratings, that is whatever. Okay, we want recommended thing, right? So this is a thumb review info title. Okay, const recommended. So this is gonna be review info. And then it's gonna have title in it, right? Inside of review item. And then we're gonna say, yeah, let's, let's just take HTML for now. Then we got time, which is I think basically one of the things that a lot of current uh, recommendation algorithms miss is that they tend to consider all the tags and all the feedback from users equal, right? While in reality, the more a person plays the game, the more it's gonna be, like the more insights he's gonna basically have, right? Uh, so we're gonna weigh them differently in the end. Okay, so then we have tie, uh, no wait, so time played, let's call it this way, time played, time posted. So this is gonna be, and then uh, posted HTML, right? Uh, right, I should probably, do I so we're gonna just wrap this real quick and say that this is item. Okay, we search within this item. I guess I could have done item like this. Probably gonna be more more understandable, right? It's easier to read. Let's let's go, let's do it this way. We're always overthinking it. So item finds. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, uh, so and then we want review text, review text, item finds. Yeah, okay, so we need to figure out, I guess we can take this and then just do remove, right? So remove time from text and then grab text. So we read the time, uh, then we remove that, and then we get the, the HTML of the review itself. Let's see. I guess everything else is not really helpful for us, right? So what else do we have on review? Let's have a look at the cards. So you got, not recommended, you got how many hours he played, there's the date posted, and then there is the review text itself. I guess everything else is whatever. Like we could grab the rewards, we could grab uh, helpful, not helpful, but I, yeah, I don't think that's that's interesting for us. So I'm just gonna go with that, and then we do return recommended time played time posted uh, review text, right? So theoretically, if we do that, we should see a list of uh, whoops. Theoretically, we should see no, okay, unexpected type of selector. What do you mean unexpected type of selector? Load, oh, did I, did I scrub the way the load works? Cheerio load. Uh, does it have to be wrapped into a one div or something? Is that what you're complaining about? I remember it had like problems with, I guess, I guess we can do this, right? Because this, the JSON or the HTML we get definitely doesn't have any body around it. So I'm guessing that might be the problem. No, unexpected type of selector. The hell does it mean? Um, we're currently one over release of a Cheerio main branch source code for the last year 22. You all fruits load, yeah, import. Oh, okay, I see, we can do that. All right, uh, maybe that's the problem. Okay, let's see, do you like that? Okay, Cheerio load. Are we gonna work like this? No, unexpected type of selector. What, what does it even mean? Oh boy. Um, okay, where is GitHub link? Cheerio unexpected type of selector. That is the first time ever I've seen that. Is it because we're looking for... Okay, wait a second. Let's just try that, right? Let's try... Let's try doing this. Does this work? This work. Okay, so the loading works fine. The problem is not on the loading. The problem is somewhere here, basically. Does this work? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Um, 
Does this work? No, this... Oh, is it... Do I no longer... Okay, maybe they've changed how you map over items. Like, I, I remember that before they literally returned the inner content, so you had to, like, wrap it again every time. Did they fix that? Uh, let me see. Okay. Map. Of course, they don't have any... Is there, like, API... No, they don't have any API stuff. Okay, okay, fine. Let's try that. So if I do hide here and then we do this, are we working now? No, it find is not a function. Okay. Um, here I thought I was being smart. Okay, does that work? Lector context. Yes. So um, are we are we are we good with that? reviews okay we are actually good almost why is that okay this it returns recommended now all oh, right because this is not array right so it, it the map does not return array so we actually have to say array well okay we can do that over here array from okay uh yeah okay so it worked first time but it didn't work all the other times right source it's html let's can we just see the source code no we can't okay um oh no okay oh i see so you no longer can do that wait a second so what is what is it right now it is, why is it, oh God, they, it's a number, oh God damn it. Oh, uh, okay, of course, right. So that should work. Oh, Non-standard methods on archives is, yeah, okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? I know, I want my standard array methods and we're gonna have my standard array methods. It find is not a function. Okay, fine. That's that's fine. Uh, we can do that again. I'm just so what it is now. It now is element. Okay, cool. So now it's an actual DOM element, which is perfect, right? It is exactly what we want. Right, so I can now do that. And now my old way of doing it should start working. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I think, yes, okay, good. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, I love it. All right, um, uncomment all of that. So, review text, loaded Cheerio. Okay, why is there is element length? Uh, do, 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 do. Why is it? Oh, right, because I forgot to write HTML over here. And we got, oh yeah, right. You know what we else need? We also need an author. That is what I forgot. Where do we grab an author from? Uh, okay, this is the author ID. Where is his user? Oh, that's the username. Okay. Uh, yes, there you go. Okay, cool. Um, const author, it finds HTML. So let's see. I think that should. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> of course, we would get the review that has the author, the ass clapper. I mean, why? It's Steam. Why would I even think there would be something different? Okay, um, that should give us. Uh, no, am I? I always forget how. Right, the thingy is. Why are you not finding it? The plus A. No, that is a null now. Okay, find A. We just find the nested one. Um, why are you not finding it correctly? So if we do that, we got the... Oh, there is 2A there. Oh, I see. Why is there 2A tags inside of each? Is it only... Oh, is it... First, I think we can do that, right? So that should be, yeah, okay, there we go. No, that doesn't help. There are like really two links in there. No, that seems to be only one link. There are like 
two different it also seems to be only one okay um why is this not working then if i do that length two okay first html uh, but we actually want the second one right not first second or okay i guess there is no method second um what is the if there's going to be first method then how would you call each empty has okay wait a second uh question did did, did the second correct link had any attributes or anything like that um doo -doo 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 -doo. no we did not um they are the same but the first one doesn't have any text in it like why okay you know what that's fine that's fine that's perfectly fine okay uh so we want not the first one but we want to take i is there okay wait a second is there like a css selector second they're like a nth yeah so we could do nth two right so that should give us the second think that should work or is it also starts counting yay okay cool and then author let's call it author name and then we're gonna have the author link just for the sake of it attributes href uh, author link author uh, name okay Right, let's clear up this a bit. That is a bit too many things in there. Um, so review text replace. So we wanna, oh, right. We want to replace. Okay, now that should be. Uh, uh, okay, we want to replace slash n slash n plus with just one. And then there was tabs as well for whatever reason right so two tabs or more with just one tab that or man i guess we can just kill all the tabs because who cares about tabs okay that's looking a lot better um amazing yeah that seems fine yeah so <laughs> another problem with all those reviews is that we will have to create a classifier to throw out the garbage ones that are not helpful right so there's a few ways of doing it but we're gonna see how that goes um okay but that looks decent right so okay my next question is if i just do user offset 10 okay so let's see the first review we get is from moist char and the last one is from ass clapper so if i do a skip 10 uh, no okay so we need to give it this user review cursor somehow uh, have you seen the du dual app monitor from LG? What the hell is that? I have not seen. I have not seen that. I haven't, haven't even heard the name. <laughs> dual app monitor with ergo stand. Let's uh, let me have a look. What in the hell is that? There's like two monitors, but in in one is is that the or is that one matrix but with like the size of two monitors one on top of each other is that what's happening here hmm. okay that's exactly what's happening here um i mean that might be interesting i honestly i like <laughs> so i have the second monitor which is a normal one but flipped vertically i use it for like chats and stuff right i don't know where would i put this one like I know that I won't use it as my main one because they will screw up with gaming, right? And I'm, I'm like, most likely this thing is not a gaming panel or is it? It's like probably something like 60 Hertz or whatever. I want my 144 at least. It seems like for productivity, it actually might be great, especially for like artists and stuff or, you know, for whatever creative job you might do. For developments, uh, I mean, I, I, again, you know, my flows majority of time is on one screen. Like I rarely use off screen. It's literally for chats for me. 
So, but it looks neat. Like that's that's pretty cool. I do like the idea of sort of plopping two monitors together into one panel. That is. I wonder why nobody did that before. Okay, there's this. I was looking for specs. Where's the spec? Okay, there we go. Da -da -da -da. So we got P390%, which is not terrible. We got IPS panel uh, 300 by, okay, uh, where is my, okay, five milliseconds. That's also not terrible. Uh, HDR10 certified, which doesn't really tell us much. Where is, okay, yeah, 60 Hertz. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, theoretically you could push it to 144, right? So there's like, there's already 4K displays that are beyond 144, I think. So that should not be a big, but yeah, anyway, that is a work monitor that I, I mean, I personally wouldn't use. Like I did just, you know, for me, the normal screen is, is enough for my flow. You've seen my flow essentially here, you know, I just tab a lot and that's it. Uh, but yeah, you know, if that, if you think that might work for you, just go for it. It looks pretty solid. I mean, an LG monitors tend to be pretty good. Okay, anyway, um, so we need to figure out where this user review cursor thing comes from now because just passing offset. Well, okay, question. If I go here and I say uh, offset 10, page 2, maybe that's enough. And seems like it is enough indeed. Or, okay, now here's the. <laughs> I have another question. Does it even ignore this stuff? Is it just the page? Maybe we don't need all of that number page. Can I just comment all of this out? Is that is that gonna work? So literally all we need to do is this, page one. Nope, that seems to be, no wait, eh? Okay, so that screwed it up, ready to use it in uh, M text. Um, I wonder which one of those are important. <laughs> nope. Okay, let's try on commenting them one by one and finding the ones that are actually affecting the page. Nope. 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 Discussion, is that discussions? No, it's not. No, um, is that why up hub section 10? Why is it all of a sudden now giving a different results? Okay, so we removed too much things. Okay. How the hell does this work? No, that no. That no longer affects anything. Um, I am, um, yeah, that's very curious. I go here, okay, so and this should actually be 10 multiplied by page, right? So this is what should be here. Or I guess page by 10, because let's not use Yoda, Yoda styling. Uh, da -da 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 -da, page by 10. Page zero. Okay, zero is literally zero. So this one is this one is working. No. Okay, Are you you want to be a string or something? Is it like is it a, no? But I mean, theoretically, all we pass is a string, right? So that shouldn't. Oh, is it up hub section? Is it always the same? Okay, so now why? does it now shows me different results and no longer changes. Okay, I guess maybe it changed because someone pushed the review. Okay, let's see, do we still have, uh, um, oh boy, Steam, okay. Well, let's try to figure out how we get this user review cursor, shall we? So we got the results. Let's console log result and try to find the, uh, maybe it's in there somewhere. Where's our, where's our HTML? Let me just copy it into VS code and let's try to find how exactly do we properly call it so that we can get 
the rest of the reviews. I mean, it might be that it doesn't actually return them. Okay, so even, okay, we ask for page one. This seems to be page one. Um, let me do word wrap. So this thing was called user cursor review. Ah, there we go. There's a hidden input. Ah, okay. So there's a, they have a bunch of hidden inputs here that actually, okay, there's a form. Right. So what they do is they take this form. Uh, no. Formats. There we go. So they take this form and submit it using Ajax to get more things. I mean, I guess we could do the same, right? But I mean, in most of the time, so app hub section, why do they have some things twice like this? It's just, uh, all right. Um, or so non max and appropriate score filter language, most recent. Okay, so this always stays the same. This is the same. This is the same. Okay, so all of that stuff is not interesting for us. Browser filter more most recent. This is also not interesting. Why is it such a weird formatting? Okay, whatever. You know what? That's fine. User review offset 10. A, okay, value two workshop items page two. So this doesn't actually seem to affect anything. I'm not even sure if we, okay, question. If we scroll here, does it actually change those additional values or okay, reload that? Okay, so P2, this is everything is to a little bit more. Yes, okay, so it does changes them. So basically, this is offset is 20, but the page is three. So offset is 10 less. Oh, boy. Okay, Steam. <laughs> um, right, so I guess by default, Should be asking, yes, yeah, so this should be 10 minus, no wait, page not by 10 minus 10 is what it should be, right? And number page is number per, oh, it's number per page, god damn it. Uh, question, can I just ask number per page, like, I don't know, how, yeah, okay, 10 is fine, we're fine with 10. Or maybe not, const number per page, um, okay, there's gonna be 10 number per page let's try asking for like 50 or something would that work okay we no longer need that um and it no it doesn't <laughs> i wonder why it exists if it doesn't take it into account anyway it's like hey here's number per page but i'm not gonna use it anyway all right so we what we need to do is we need to say so we also pass cursor that is by default undefined, right? Cursor, okay. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Right, and then once we load the thing, new cursor is gonna be, so what was the thing? Name, okay, input, input with name that is equal user review cursor and we want attributes value i think console log new cursor i think that should do it right so a uh, new cursor and if okay <laughs> so you cannot do that we are gonna do it like this uh if there is cursor then do that otherwise just do that yep okay so if there's cursor we're gonna create new property if there is no we're just gonna spread the empty object which will give us nothing and uh, no new cursor is undefined and the results are also undefined why what is going on now oh i guess i guess i know what Offset, we're gonna calculate offset and then I'm guessing this is fine, right? And um, but we probably need to do the same thing. Offset more than zero. Otherwise, do not add it. I think no, nah, what? Offset is not defined. What do you mean it oh of fest, yes, of course. And uh, no, it is still at why what? 
Um, number per page. Okay, I am. Um, console log. Let's see params object. So page one. Yes, that looks correct. 10, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Yes, that also looks correct. Is it really like, does it really want strings there? Is that what the problem is? You like really want strings. And I can wrap this stuff in str but I don't think that changes when you send it. Whoops. Yeah, okay, that doesn't change shit, right? Because we're still stringifying the whole thing. So that shouldn't matter. Um, Why are we broken now? Uh, okay, payloads, user review. It just worked like a second ago, right? Number per page, most recent English. E1. I am so confused right now. What? Okay, if we remove that. No, it's still empty, right? So that didn't. I remove that. That is not work no longer working. All right, okay. Page, yes. Page two. Is that because I asked for page two? Page two now works. Oh, is it okay? Oh, I think I finally figured it out. Okay, so if we ask for page two, it actually works correctly, right? I don't know if page, okay, page three doesn't work, but page, so basically it only works starting from page two. So if you ask for page one, it's going to be like, I don't know what it is. So that means that we actually have to load this page first, right? Let's call it get steam reviews next export const get steam reviews. Okay app id so which means we have to first scrape the basic url right meaning that the initial reviews they are on that url uh, now the question is how do they actually look there okay so we can do base url over here uh, we can do that. Okay. Um, let's do out HTML and see how that looks. Okay. Uh, there is knowing Steam, there is highly likely something in JavaScript that is already like a JSON object or something with reviews, but it actually doesn't seem so. Yeah, okay, seems like it's exactly the same format. So we can just, we can do, we can extract this thing. Um, format selection refactor, extract into function to module scope. We're gonna call it HTML to reviews, right? There's our function. Uh, why did it put it at the very end? That is not what I wanted. Let's just put it somewhere up here. Okay, and then we just do return HTML to reviews on that. And theoretically, that should actually give us our initial review set. Oh, God, no. That is not what I wanted. Delete that. And uh, let's try that again. No, 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 no. Uh, Reviews.mjs. That's all I want. Yep, that works as expected. Uh, okay, so there is this early access thing that we have to clean up, but that is perfectly fine. We can do that later. Okay, but first let's try to scrape like, I don't know, set of reviews. Okay, but that's const initial reviews, right? So this is initial set of reviews. We get it from HTML. And then we need to return this thing we're gonna have app id and then we're gonna have reviews so we're gonna we have to pass 
an array of reviews that we will concatenate with. Okay. Const new reviews is going to be that. And then we're going to say reviews concat new reviews. Uh, we should do that probably. Oh, no. okay. Let's let's make a new one. All reviews is going to be what is going to be called. All right. And then, um, yeah, and then we return the self. So it's going to be recursive get steam reviews next app ID where we still need to find that cursor thing page page plus one and then reviews is all reviews, right? So we still need to find this cursor thing. Uh, const cursor. Let's try. Okay. Let's try to get the cursor first, and then we can build the logic for continually scraping that. I also should probably put in some timeouts to not get banned by Steam, which would be unfortunate. Okay, let me think for a second. So we want to do this from result. We want to find um, the input with name. What was the name of it again? I should have it somewhere here. Uh, what was the user? Query? Yeah, there you go. Let's try getting HTML of it. Console log cursor. Okay, uh, let's see. Way too many windows. Does it work? No, identifier cursor has already been declared. What? Oh, uh, let's call it new cursor. There we go. That is absolutely correct. It has been declared, but uh, dollar is not identified. What? Oh, oh, I didn't. Uh, God, okay, right. I have to. Yes, let's do a new thing. Uh, it's below, I guess, is better. Function find cursor HTML, right? Yep. Uh, that's going to be HTML over here. Let's name it a bit better. And then we're going to take that and say find, uh, no, find cursor and from results. Okay. That's this is const cursor equals that and then we return it. All right, uh, let's see if that works or I screwed something up. Result is not defined. Oh, um, yeah, of course. Um, because we already loaded it, this is enough. And it is empty. Okay. Uh, rent. What if we get HTML of parent? Okay, so it does get the correct item. Attribute value as uh, that's Yeah, there we go. It actually works. Hey, cool. All right, so we got the cursor. Uh, which means okay, let's do return all reviews and let's see that we actually concatenate them correctly, right? So theoretically, if I now do get steam reviews, we should get 20 reviews in there. Uh, reviews is not defined. What do you mean reviews is not defined? Where where? Um, to, 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 from what? Where is this coming from? Fetch 50 line 50 this one. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> of course. Okay. And we got does that look like 20 reviews. It does look like 20 reviews, I think. Okay, you know what, let's do this. Reviews JSON is not strictly JSON, but we can. Uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do JSON stringify um, because I want to be able to read that at least somewhat. Yes. Okay. So we're starting for Quebec Ravager. Yeah, that looks that looks fine, right? Okay. So right, let's put some some timers in here. Uh, nodes timers promises, which is gonna do set timeout. It's just gonna be a good citizens and just uh, you know what sleep a bit. Set timeout, sleep timeout. 
I don't want to hammer, hammer servers with my requests all the time. I'm gonna say, yeah, for 500 milliseconds, that should be sufficient, right? Okay, uh, console log fetched um, initial reviews length reviews continuing to next page so we're gonna we're gonna paste that over here i'm just gonna say that right and then we're gonna say return this new with new page okay cursor is new cursor i think um you know what let's do this if page more than three then let's return all reviews okay oh yeah right that's gonna output the stuff 30 and we should have 40 reviews over here and it seems to be yeah let's just pick a random username and see if it's yeah it's only once so that seems to be correct all right um so that seems to be working I guess we should probably also write the result into the file import fs or I guess from node pro, uh, fs promises write file uh, and we're gonna say write file uh, hello M. Miller uh, Jesus Christ your username M Miller and Gruppe I <laughs> I guess that's how you read that. Welcome to the stream. All right, so we are gonna write it into reviews JSON uh, in this folder. And we're gonna do JSON stringify, and then we're gonna do UTF-8 as an encoding. Okay, cool. So that seems to be working. Right, I forgot to add another sleep somewhere so we we fetch here we do all of that and then we do a wait set timeout sleep timeout so we're gonna we're gonna do it over here before we log the progress now let's pick a game that has uh, like a few hundred reviews so that we can okay no i'm gonna leave gloomwood because it's a nice uh example with like a thousand reviews should i mean thousand reviews is what thousand by 500 milliseconds that is 500 seconds that is like a few minutes right but uh let's take something smaller and uh come on steam what is going on we're going to take something smaller basically and uh try to fetch all reviews because we so we're missing one bit from the code what happens when this thing returns uh, when there's no more results right so i think it returned empty array actually but we're gonna find out in a second so we need to find some very niche very small indie game that has a few hundred reviews i guess new and trending would work uh like yeah there you go there's a uh, 35 reviews in circus electric that is i think it's a pretty at least from what i've seen it's a quite good game so you know what why not let's just grab this okay so this was Gloomwood, round thousand reviews, and this is a uh, circus electric, round thirty five reviews. Okay, so theoretically, basically, what we need to do is we need to say that if new reviews, if uh, new reviews length is zero right return this is what we need to do and then done fetching reviews got total reviews okay saving to file all right i think that should do it theoretically let's see so, okay, we no longer need to pipe it anywhere. We just run that. This should theoretically fetch four pages, right? 50. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Didn't it just say, 
Uh, so no, wait, wait a second. It said it was like 40 reviews there. What is happening? Steam, were you lying to me? Okay. 25 reviews. Okay, so if we remove the language filter. Maybe. New cursor, new reviews. Let's try to log it maybe and see what's happening. Okay, so let's see. What does it say? 38 reviews. Okay, so 40 reviews, but not 90 as it was here. Okay, 10. 50. No, it keeps. Did I screw up the app name? That shouldn't be the case, right? So that looks correct. Why is it keep fetching? What is. Dear Steam, what the actual hell? Um, okay, let's see. So we got, this is the original URL we fetch, right? Where is it? There it is, reviews, yes. That is, app ID is the same. Okay, cool, that is correct. We get the reviews, uh, it says, Okay, so we go most recent. Why is Steam so damn slow? Did they already ban me or something? Okay, cool. Um, here we are. All right, so we get that is one. Let's see headers. Yes, that looks correct. Let's see. Okay, that is two. Is Steam review count broken? I just should not take it in a face value. Is that what's happening? Let's see how many pages we can scroll through here. So that's so that was 10. That's 20, 30, 40. No. Okay. So 25. Interesting. So why the hell? Why is it? That's people with 400 hours on record. That doesn't seem correct. Uh, I have a feeling it was get, it is getting wrong reviews over there. App ID, app hops. Oh, here they are now have app ID. I don't think we had that before. It's not present over here as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, Steam. Okay, let's see. So app ID, app hub section. Let's try, let's try doing that. So app ID is our app ID, right? So this should just pass it over, I guess. And that's um, interesting. Super hot. Wait, 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 wait. What is, why is it says super hot over here? Wait, okay, clear. Let's try that again. Uh, 2.4 hours. I don't know if the thing is good or interesting or recommended. Character design. Is that the review that we've seen first here? Uh, absolutely not. What's going on? Um, love the graphics and the neighbor builds. What are those reviews? I don't understand how does this work? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's you know what? Let's let's try to backtrack a bit and just 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 comment this out. I'm so confused right now. I thought that would be a very easy script to write because you know it's just just some reviews. Okay, it got 10 reviews. Um are those correct? One of those darkest dungeon-like games, but a Bioshock-ish steampunk coat of paint. That sounds like Circus Electric, right? Oh, oh, I guess, you know what? That is what we're missing there, right? Because the first reviews it gets are actually most popular by default, so we should be throwing uh, the, this over here, right? That should bring it in line with what we see there. Uh, if I reload, 
just to be sure we actually see the correct thing. Absolutely fantastic, tons of fun, fun game, stuck crafting cola. Yeah, okay, so this is the one that we see over here. Now this is correct, right? So the last one is from last D. I guess the sorting is like slightly different from what we get there. Okay, so let's see, um, let's try to get the next batch correctly. So page, am I, do I have to like go from page one or page two? Which one does it get first? Wait a second. So we scroll below page two. Okay, so it starts with page two and offset 10. Oh, it also needs a cursor right away. Oh, I see, maybe that's the problem. Okay, so we need to find the cursor. Yes, and then we're gonna say cursor is cursor, right? Okay, yes, good. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, right, and let's say that, okay, we did that thing and then we just return all reviews. And then we're just gonna ignore that bit, oops. Well, I mean, I don't need to comment that because it's now unreachable anyway. Okay, so let's see. Theoretically, the next batch of reviews is Darkest Dungeon like, great game. Okay, let's see what we actually see in the reviews themselves. So there's the last D, so this was correct. Awesome, uh, wasn't sure at the start. Well, okay, that's definitely not the right game. Unless there is someone already with like 700 hours into this game, which I doubt. No, that's definitely incorrect. Where is this coming from? Why Steam? Why? Yeah, there's definitely nobody with 700 hours in there. Why is this? What? Uh, one of, uh, yeah, okay. Posted on September 6th. They're just scraping incorrect or what is happening here? Uh, it also says it's an early access review, but I don't really see anything. That is extremely confusing to me. Uh, six, yes, no. No, it's definitely pulling it from a wrong game. I want, why? Huh. Interesting. Okay, you know what? Let's do console log result and just see what the HTML says. Um, our HTML, yes. So I am, I am very confused right now. Okay, Steam static. So there's an images. Is there a persistent links to that or something? Yes, there is persistent link. Let's have a look what game it is, eh? shall we? Like you pass an ID for the game, you pass it twice, right? And you still get reviews for some completely random game that is irrelevant to what you were asking. What is going on in the back end of Steam? It's like <laughs> that is Cult of the Lamb. Why is it Cult of the Lamb? I have no idea. What ID does it have? Is it even close to what the Circus Electric has? Oh, come on. So this one is 1666250. It's 1313140. How are you getting those? Oh boy, okay. Um, where's my form? Should we, do we have to like parse this form and actually get app zero home content? Why does it say zero? Wait a second. Is it really? Using wait 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 wait. Is the URL really app? No. Okay. So this is, uses the app ID, right? No. All of them use app ID, so that should not be the problem. User reviews cursor. Yeah. Okay. Is it just Steam screwing with people trying to scrape it or something? Like, <laughs> is that what's going on? I mean. I could imagine them doing that, but that is like preventing scraping of reviews is come on, man. Okay. Um, 
maybe we do need all of those values let's see so what am i missing from there let's just uh, let me just copy the whole thing let's check so we got uh we do have user review cursor and we do have user review offset right and so offset is 20 less than the current page we do have all of those pages do we have all of them let's just double check have that we have that we have that all guides art page video screenshots okay we do have all of those parameters so that seems correct uh what else is there max and appropriate score we do have a pass search text is empty we pass yes filter language default we pass l english we do pass up section do I have to pass it twice like Steam? Is, it, is that why it's bro? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But you know what? Let's try. Not even sure why what's happening, but let's give it a shot. So we pass app ID. Uh, browser filter. I'm not like it. What? Does it even pass it twice? Wait, app ID, app hub. Yeah, it does pass it twice. But that doesn't make any sense. Okay, and then number per page is 10. Yeah, so theoretically that should work, right? Am I missing anything else from here? I mean, my cookies obviously, but that's a different thing. Can, uh, question, can I access actually those without authentication? Maybe that's the problem. So most recent, yes, that seems correct. Uh, for reject all. I mean, that looks pretty much similar, right? Okay, so they, they do force a non one and max and appropriate score is lower. Let's try doing force a non zero and see if that helps. I am extremely confused right now. Thirty-two hours, ten hours. Yeah, no, this is it's again. It again gets the reviews for a completely unrelated game. Why? How does this even work? Is it Cult of the Lamp again? Um, where was the link? This was. I think it's the same link, right? Dear Steam, what the actual hell? Yes, it is called of the lamb again. How in the hell they put something in the cookies maybe that denotes the X frame same origin. Um Mihal, I'm basically trying to reverse the Steam API. Well, I mean they don't really have any API, so I'm just trying to repeat the XHR request they send on the website. That doesn't seem to be working really well. I mean, I know at least a few more ways of getting that data, but I would really prefer just, you know, doing it as lean as possible. Uh, so we got content security policy, uh, response headers. So, okay, request URL, request method get, request headers. Cache control, cookie sessions, team country, recently visited hubs. Is it is that what it wants? Cookie settings, time zone offset. Is that maybe that's what it wants in the cookie? The recently visited hub, but I, I don't think that matters, right? Refer. Uh, can it be that it wants refer? E1. Okay, um, hmm. uh, okay, you know what? Uh, there's one thing that I should have probably checked before doing all of that. Is there a package that already does it? Steam reviews. Um, Steam, Steam reviews API. Maybe there is already an existing. Okay, that's partners. Oh, wait, wait, seriously? <laughs> Did I just spend all this time building my own scraper when I could have just done that, really? 
Oh boy, if this works. <laughs> oh no. Um Okay, uh so what is the app ID? <laughs> Uh, um, no match it. What do you mean? What curl? That's what I want. Uh, 302 found. Okay, um, HTTP. But if I open that here, you gonna, you gonna give me something or? Okay, so I guess you need to be authenticated for this to work. But there is a JSON API. <laughs> God, bloody damn it. Um, okay, is there a description of how you can actually following method returns? Blah, blah, blah. Success one, query results, cursor reviews. Okay, question is why, okay, why does it not? Um, I probably should have done this in the very beginning and just, oh God, I'm, <laughs> oh no, I found the problem. <laughs> it was a string. Oh no, uh, is, this, is this gonna work now? Is this gonna work? Oh no, oh no. Wait, this is actually correct now. Uh, we'll find it in the game. Okay, let me just let me just pick one from the very end and like go over here. Is this not working? Oh no, it's oh god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh boy, okay. Um for anyone who haven't seen that, um this is the problem. Do you do you see the problem? Did <laughs> Ah, the story of my life. Fighting it for half an hour only to find out that I made a typo somewhere in the middle and it's like just, ah. <laughs> my life is pain. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Um, all right, you know what? Um, right, I wanted to actually see the uh, if it will break correctly. God damn it. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, no way, Tennis, you are absolutely right with the 302 redirects. Uh, we should, uh, we could try to, but well, I mean, we could try to use the proper API, but I already finished the freaking, uh, freaking scraping API, right? So, um, I mean, I, I'm guessing it does 302 because it requires authentication. Like if you, if you do it here, right? And if you request it, uh, if we go to network and do preserve log, Uh, okay, if I do that another time, is it now? Okay, you know what? We probably should do that from new window. Okay, let's try it in, in incognito. No, it does work now. What the hell? Anyway, uh, that's a different, that's a different, <laughs> that's a different thing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we should have, uh, what does it say? Um, oh yeah, right. It says 25 reviews. New cursor, all reviews length, right. So I am logging something. What do you mean before initialization? Where is it coming from? It says the error from 113, 113. Oh, oh boy, okay. Uh, absolutely, that is correct. We do this here, right? Because we already have reviews, we don't really can cut anything. Yep, okay, so that should theoretically fix it. Da, da, da. Okay. Or there is no new cursor is what we can also check it seems right. And uh, why does it say only 25 reviews? I thought it was more right. Page 25. Yeah, is it 25 here as well? Uh, so this one was the last one. 20 and it returns. I mean, okay, you know what? We can, there's an easy way of testing it. We can just uh, take all the cards. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it do be like that. Document query selector. 
And now we just say, give me all the cards. Uh, no, we want query selector all, right? Yes, 25. Okay, so that is indeed correct. <laughs> Damn it, okay. All right, so we wrote this. This works. That is good. We need to clean things up a bit. Uh, but I guess, well, I mean, I guess we could do this post factum, right? Because like, I guess it, is, it, it does make sense to weigh the reviews differently if they are like early access or if the product was released for, uh, received for free, which means there is some sort of bias involved usually, right? So that is, that is good. That's working. Okay. Um, so this is fine, which means we can do that. Next MJS, I'm just gonna say, do that. Yep, that is good. And that means that here we can grab this promises right file, import it from here. Okay, cool. So that is that is a good starting point. We no longer need this out HTML. Uh, let me also make git ignore and add node modules and reviews json for now i maybe we will commit it later at some point but for now it's fine okay git commits at basic script for fetching steam reviews using app id okay that's <laughs> That took way longer than I wanted it to take, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that that stuff happens. Let me just go ahead and, and create a new repository for that and just push it there. Okay, people, I think that's a pretty good spot to wrap it up. That was... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, building a gaming knowledge graph. So if you have any questions or suggestions or things you want to clarify, feel free to throw them into the chat right now. The source code will be under my personal uh, uh, there, under my personal GitHub account. So you can go to github.com slash yamalite slash gaming knowledge graph. This is where it's gonna be. Um, so next time we are gonna create the scraper for OpenCritic. And once we have all the data sets, we're gonna get to, first of all, cleaning them, right? Because the cleaner the data, the better results we're gonna get in the long run. And after we got the nice clean data sets uh, for Steam reviews, we're gonna train the classifier first. We're gonna train the classifier that will filter out all the junk because, well, Steam reviews are, yeah, it's, you know, some of them are useful. Some of them are not very useful, right? And we gotta basically figure things out like yeah the stuff like thief with guns well i guess it is useful because it does mention that it is it, it is really related to thief so we would want entities from that but not the actual review because it's kind of pointless um there's also like yeah things like this which is um like we this is not helpful right when you plan next stream, I typically stream on Wednesdays at the same time. So next Wednesday, 4 p.m. I don't think I will have time earlier than that. Uh, so yeah, if, if uh, I mean, there will be a YouTube uh, event created before like a few days in advance at least. So just keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, let me push the whole thing in there and uh, then we can just uh, wrap it up. Meanwhile, again, if you have any questions, suggestions, and uh, if you're watching VOD of this and still wanna ask something, feel free to join our Discord. The links should be in the description. Um, you are more than welcome to ask anything you want, ask for help, clarify things, um, you know, more than happy to help you. And if there are any, uh, I mean, we have a bunch of other people in the server who are very, very nice and uh, more than happy to help. Building a gaming knowledge graph from game reviews. Current states one. Uh, st uh, well, let's call it phase one. Scripts for extracting reviews from Steam using app ID. Again, I should have probably checked if Steam had API in the beginning, but. <laughs> It's my own fault for spending so much time on things that could have been done better, but they... Okay, add uh, basic readme. 
uh, Wise, thank you, and uh, Vitanis, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you everyone who's watching for, you know, tuning in and uh, suffering with me, I guess, because they're... Oh boy. That is, I don't... <laughs> I don't even want to know how much time we spent tracking down the fact that I just didn't use a proper string in there and a template literal and instead just use the actual hard-coded string and was wondering why do I get random reviews? <laughs> I'm actually curious why it worked and how the hell did we get the reviews like for something because you know instead of numerical app ID we had a string that literally said app ID. Can I, can I actually wait a second can I actually do that like would that work so if I take this go to Steam and say App ID reviews, give me... Okay, oh, okay, that's what happens. So basically, if you provide a broken app ID, it redirects you to the Steam community homepage. And I assume this is just random reviews, random content, right? And this is exactly what we were getting. I see, okay, that explains it. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? Right, okay, cool. Well, that's it for me for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my suffering. Again, join Discord if you like to chat or, you know, have, need any help or want to discuss any of that. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the stream and I see you next Wednesday. Bye.